Hi everybody, my name is Lauren Hopkins and I'm one of the assistant ropes course directors here at Asugachi this summer. Our ropes course is pretty special because we're challenged by choice, which means that we won't make you do anything that you don't want to do. If your challenge is just putting on a harness, that's okay. If your challenge is just climbing up the ladder for the day, that's also okay. We'll encourage you to step a little bit outside of your comfort zone, but other than that, it's whatever you feel your challenge is, okay? We have seven elements here. The first is the zip line, it's a fan favorite. You put on a backpack with some belay equipment and you go across the zip line. At the end, you'll be caught by an OEC staff member who will be helped by four to three campers. You'll come back across the bridge and you can continue on with your day. At the bottom, while you're waiting for the zip line, we have the Pirates Crossing for you, which has two ropes that make an X. At that time, you'll climb up, you can hold on to the first rope, and then you'll switch to the second halfway across. Your goal is to reach the tree on the left. The other element we have set up for you down here is called the Postman's Walk. It's a multi-line traverse, and what happens is you'll start off, you'll step on the first line, put your hands up nice and high above you, and scoot all the way across to the tree on your right. If you want to get down at that time, you're more than welcome to. But if you don't, you can go up to what's called our second level, which has a bunch of white ropes hanging from the top, and you'll use those to cross across the top wire, reach the tree on the left, tap it, and then come on down. If you're not starting off at high ropes with that half, you'll be starting off with what's our, what our other element is called, the giant swing. The giant swing is a lot of fun, and what happens is, is we'll harness you in, you'll get clipped in, and a pull team will raise you to the top of our full swing. At that point, you'll reach down, find a rainbow P cord, and release yourself swinging out over Rock Pond. And Rock Pond is truly beautiful. The other elements we have for you, one of them is called the centipede. The centipede is a spinning peg ladder, which you'll climb up, and at the top, you'll find white ropes. You'll put your foot in them just like a tire swing, and you'll swing across, tap the tree, and then we'll lower you again to the ground. One of the other elements we have is called the Indiana Jones. The Indiana Jones is a bridge halfway across. There are some planks that are broken, but that's okay because you can step right over them. Then we have two lines that you'll duck walk across, at which point you can go onto a single line traverse using a white rope to kind of belay yourself out a little bit. The goal is again to reach the tree, tap it, and we'll lower you down. We have the Voyager's Crossing, which is only a year new to Asagachi. It's a bunch of lily pads. You have a person climb, and they have a ground crew. The ground crew has to move the lily pads using the white ropes. That way they can help the person in the air successfully reach the end of the challenge. It's kind of like a high ropes, low ropes element. It would be best classified as middle ropes. The last element we have out here is our pamper pole, which is a little intimidating, but a lot of fun. You climb up a giant telephone pole, stand on top, and your goal is to jump out and reach for a trapeze bar. If you don't make it, that's fine too. I definitely did it, and I still feel super accomplished at the end of it. Now here at Asugachi Ropes, it's not about how far you make it, it's just about trying. Even if you don't make it off the ladder, you've still accomplished something here today. And if that's your challenge, then we're proud of you either way.